from the 10 o'clock news team. Fox 23 News at 5 starts right now. It's been a long time in the works, but finally we get a look inside St. Peter's new six-story patient care pavilion. A dedication ceremony for the hospital's new maternity ward was held today. The family center has single rooms and also private bathrooms, mom like that. Uh, the mother and baby unit, the newborn nursery, and the NICU unit. And to make sure the whole family's happy, flat screen TVs, Wi-Fi, observation decks, so little big brothers and sisters can see their newest addition. Yesterday, employees were touring mm -hmm. and to see the expressions on their faces and uh, their excitement made it all come home to us. It's the one thing that people wanted more than anything else is to have their own room afterwards and with this facility we will be able to provide that. It's a nice place. The hospital leaders say more babies are born each year at St. Pete's than any other institution in the capital region. The Hearst Family Center will open up on Sunday. Good for them. From WNYT Albany, News Channel 13, live at 5, begins right now. The expansion's been underway since 2007. Tonight, one of the new floors at St. Peter's Hospital about ready for patients. I'll take you on a tour in my health report. Well, the first unit in the new six-story patient care pavilion at St. Peter's Hospital is opening. And we got a tour today. It's the $35 million Hearst Family Center housing mother and children's services. 21 of the 30 new rooms are singles with luxurious bathrooms. State-of-the-art design means more natural light throughout. Nursing stations closer to the patients. Couches that turn into beds for dad uh, who spend the night. And a special step up for pint-sized siblings to see the new baby. As hospital officials point out, more babies were born at St. Pete's than any other local hospital. Several celebrations we will have over the next several months as we complete what is the, what is only the third major expansion of facilities at St. Peter's 141 year history. The Hearst Family Center opens Sunday to patients. The rest of the new patient tower should be fully open April 9th. The $258 million construction project began in 2007. It's billed as the largest private building project in the capital region since the Empire State Plaza. This is CBS 6 News, now in high definition. Well, starting this Sunday, expecting mothers will have a new place to stay at St. Peter's Hospital in Albany. The hospital today dedicating the Hearst Family Care Center. That center adds 30 new rooms to the hospital, and they all feature flat screen TVs, Wi-Fi, and even private bathrooms. Of those 30 rooms, 21 of them are single rooms. The money to build the center was donated by the Hearst Foundation. They sound pretty high-tech, too. Nice. Anything you do to make a mom comfortable at oh, that uh, moment, right? Always welcome. Yep. Sure. is News 10 at 6 on the news station. Well, new moms can expect some added comfort during their next visit to St. Peter's Hospital. The facility dedicated its new Hearst Family Center today. It's the first patient floor to open in St. Peter's Patient Care Pavilion, which has been under construction since 2007, and the new home for St. Peter's Comprehensive Women's and Children's Services. The floor features some of the latest in state-of-the-art hospital equipment. We now have the physical plant and technology to match the superb capabilities of our staff and the increasing complex needs of our mothers and newborns. CEO Stephen Boyle says St. Peter's Hospital delivered 2,600 babies last year. This is YNN, your evening news now. A new Women's and Children's Center at St. Peter's Hospital is dedicated Tuesday. The focus of the new Hearst Family Center is to provide care and comfort for mothers and their newborn babies. Hospital staff say in recent years the maternity facilities lacked certain amenities that mothers and staff desired. This is the first patient floor to open in St. Peter's Patient Care Pavilion, which has been under construction since 2007. St. Peter's president and CEO says the center is a total family experience. Being, the, being in the role of a big brother or big sister is a big deal. Our staff decided to think ahead and make it even more special. In the corridor, corridor near the viewing window in each of our new state-of-the-art well-born nurseries, you will see two small observation platforms. These platforms were put in so small boys and girls can stand on their own two feet 
look inside the nursery and see their new sibling. The center has 30 rooms in a centralized observation nursery.